we are going to factor polynomials using substitution. And so what we're looking at here is a polynomial that's a little more complicated than what we've done before, but because of the so we can use substitution to make it easier to manage. So this is difficult, a little more difficult than normal because the end of the sixth and the end cubed. Those aren't the squares that we're used to seeing in a trinomial. And this doesn't follow a nice pattern that makes it easy to break down. So what we need to do is we need to look, and we look at the powers. Is this power here in the middle one half of the first one? If it is, then what we're going to do is we're going to create a new variable u. We can use it because it hasn't been used before. It's not defined for this problem. And we're going to arbitrarily choose to make it equal to what's in the middle, the n cubed. So then notice if I square u, so if I square one side, I have to square the other, I'm going to get u squared equals n to the sixth, which notice is our first one. This is why this power needs to be twice this power, so that I can use the middle one, square it to get the first one. So now I can rewrite the whole problem as 2u squared minus 7u minus 15. And now to solve this, I'm going to use the synthetic factoring. I'm going to take the first number and the last number. 2 times minus 15 is minus 30. I'm now going to look for factors of minus 30 to add up to minus 7, and those are minus 10 and 3. I then take that first number again and divide both of these by it. Simplify my fractions, and I'm ready to get my factors. This, if I take the minus 5 over 1, the 1 goes in front of the u, so I don't need it. So we can erase it. Subtract the 5 that's on top, and that's my first factor. My second one is 2u, because they take the 2 from the bottom, add 3, because it's a positive 3 on top, and I now have my factors. And if I wanted to check this out, I could. u times 2u is 2u squared. u times 3 is plus 3u. Minus 5 times 2u is minus 10u. And minus 5 times positive 3 is minus 15. Combine like terms and notice I'm back to my original problem. And that's nice for two reasons. One, we know that I factored it correctly. And two, since u is n cubed, we know that we've just checked our problem. But we've got one more step to do. Remember that u isn't what we started with. We started with n. So we need to end with n. And the way we do that is we replace our u's with n cubes. And here is our answer. And we know it'll work because u is n cubed. And I already tested my u's to make sure they'd work. So that's the idea behind substitution. Start by replacing the ugly variables with u's that make it prettier and easier and more like what we've seen before. So as a further example, suppose we have 2 times x plus 1 squared plus 3 times x plus 1 minus 35. Well, there's two ways we could go with this problem. We could multiply it out. We could do our perfect square trinomial and then distribute a 2 through it. We distribute the 3 through it and then combine terms and see if that'll factor. Or we can recognize that what's in parentheses is the same, and our powers are twice as much. This means we can use substitution. And in this case, our substitution is u equals x plus 1. So u squared is the quantity x plus 1 squared. Notice we have the x plus 1 squared and the x plus 1. So we can rewrite this as 2u squared plus 3u minus 35. Now we just factor this like any other factoring problem. So synthetic factoring, 2 times minus 35 is minus 70. Minus, factors of minus 70 add up to 3, or positive 10 and negative 7. Divide both of those by 2. Reduce fractions. And write our factors. u plus 5, 2u minus 7. And notice this works great. u times 2u is 2u squared minus 7u, plus 10u, minus 35, and we boil that out, So, which combines back to our original. So we've checked our answer. 
All we need to do now is replace the u with x plus 1 plus 5 and 2 times x plus 1 minus 7. And we don't really like parentheses inside parentheses, so we need to work farther. Because there's a, only a 1 in front, I can get rid of these parentheses. x plus 1 plus 5 is x plus 6. But for the second one, I have to distribute first. 2x plus 2 minus 7. And then combine like terms to get 2x minus 5. And so our answer is x plus 6 times 2x minus 5.